Hello everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this card for you today using a bunch of gorgeous products from Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be using the Delicate Daisy A2 cover plate top, also the Spring Birds Lovely Layers, as well as the Lovely Layers Nest. These three different die sets uh, coordinate really nicely together and I'm going to show you how I use them to create my card. My card was definitely inspired by this gorgeous paper pad from Honeybee Stamps. This is from the most recent spring release and the paper from that pad that really inspired me was this paper here. So I coordinated this paper with my Distress Oxide inks to colorize my dies today for my project. Now I'm going to start off here with the the delicate daisy a2 cover plate top and I'm going to be using some gathered twigs and some ground espresso distress oxide ink I'm starting with the lighter color the gathered twigs to start I've done a base of that gathered twigs and then I'm going in with a ground espresso just to darken up some of the areas just to give a range of light and dark and that's just going to create a little bit of dimension on this piece Next, I'm going to again go in with this is still the ground espresso and just add a few more little dark spots. And I'm going to use exactly those same colors and that same technique for the nest. And here you can just see how that just creates this really cool colorized uh, really dimensional piece for this nest and then this is the little twig die that's part of the lovely layers nest I've colorized that as well now I'm going in with a bird and I'm going to start off here with some aged mahogany for this middle piece and then the base piece I'm going to do again with my gathered twigs so I want the breast of my bird to be that really pretty burgundy color from the aged mahogany and then I want the feathers and sort of like the other parts of the bird to be brown so I'm using those gathered twigs and ground espresso colors again for those areas. I'm using Victorian velvet to help me add a little bit of the pinked tone to the brown. So on the tips of the feathers, I'm adding a little bit of that Victorian velvet. I just think that looks really pretty. And I'll just add that to the tail feathers and the other wing. I'm using that same color, the Victorian velvet, for this last little piece. This is the piece that tucks in underneath just kind of above the breast of the bird and it's going to just form that little bit of that lighter area just above the breast of our bird. The eggs I'm using some lost shadow and a little bit of hickory smoke and so the lost shadow is the base color and then I'm going in with a little bit of the hickory smoke to add just some shading and to create again that little bit of depth and dimension in that way. Now I'm going to start to assemble my bird. So there's the base piece down first with the brown and then there's that aged mahogany is the next piece that goes on. I'm going to add this here small piece with the Victorian velvet on it because this is just going to layer over top of the beak and tuck in just above that breast and then this is the topper piece here for the main parts of the bird. So I'll just go ahead and layer that on with my honeybee liquid adhesive and get that added on there. And then that's just going to fit finish up most of the elements of the bird. I still have to add in the eye and the beak and the little feet and I've colored those in black and I'll just take a few seconds just to add those little pieces in and just get those a little dot of glue into each of those different little areas to surgically add those little pieces in place and I'm just using a craft pick to help me do that. I'm also going to now of course assemble the nest which is super easy to put together but I love the dimension that you get with this lovely layers nest and of course this last little twig that's going to layer on top as well and then I'm going to add those eggs and I've also colorized the two little feather dies that are part of the nest die set and I've colored those with the Victorian velvet and a little bit of the aged mahogany. So I'm just going to use my honeybee tweezers and my honeybee glue to help me get these into place. I'll just use my honeybee craft pick just to lift up some of those little spots so I can squeeze these little pieces in. And then I'll just add the little feathers in as though they're just stuck in an area of the nest as though they have fallen out of the bird. And now I'm ready to start to assemble the card base. So I have an A2 size top folding white card base here. I've cut my beautiful pattern paper to the same size. So that's an A2 size. And then I've added that delicate Daisy A2 cover plate on top. Now I did add that cover plate on top with some foam adhesive. So it's dimensional in there. And I'm also adding my nest with some dimensional adhesive as well. 
So I'm just trying to decide where I want to place that, keeping in mind that I still have a sentiment to go on there. And here you can just see I'm placing that sweet little bird flying into the nest there, also with some foam adhesive. I'm going to add a little bit of white splatter onto my card, just to add that little bit of mixed media element here on top. And it just creates this nice cohesive layer. I just love the look of the splatter. I did cover up all of the different black areas on the bird because I didn't want the white splatter on the eye, for example. Now this is a sentiment from the Daisy Layers bouquet set. I love these, the sentiments that are part of that set and I love how that finishes off my card. Friends, I've linked up to all of the different products that I've used for my project today in the description box below. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.